Hey guys, we're using similarity number four in order to find sides. This, this one's a challenging one. And uh, the reason isn't obvious right away when you look at it. You, you can see that there's actually three triangles here. There's this little one at the top, and then there's this middle one here, if you count the one at the top with this second parallel line. And then there's this big one with the third parallel line. So I'm going to start off by looking at the triangles that we can use, because we're looking for this X over here, which relates to the big triangle. So if I start off with that big triangle, um, and I call that AF, right? AF will be similar to um, AB. Um, so if I go, what I want to do is I want to go, hey, 8 over, careful now, 18 plus X must be equal to, you know, 6 over this side. And the problem here is, I don't have all that information. So I need to get this piece here to put a number down here so that I can do my cross multiplication and solve for x. I can't have two unknowns in the same problem. So that means I have to stop and I gotta deal with this triangle first to get this missing piece so that I can then get that side there to put there. So I'm gonna put my initial one on hold and I'll just remind you what this is. This is to this, so 8 is to 18 plus x, as 6 is to, hey, I'm missing a part. So we'll go back to the little triangle, and I can say, hey, 8 is to 18, as 6 is to, let's call it x, even though it's not the same x, maybe I should name, name it, let's call it y. Right, and that's this piece right there that I had a question mark. So this is to this as this is to that. Straight up call, um, cross multiplication now. So I'm going to go 8 times 6 plus y. There's that distribution happening is equal to 6 times 18. So I'm going to simplify. Let's just simplify the right there. 6 times 18 is equal to 108. And now the left side. 6 times 8 is 48 plus 8y. I'm going to subtract 48 from both sides. That's going to leave me with 60, so 8y is equal to 60. And I just subtracted 48 there and 48 there. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 8. I get 7.5 is my y. So why did I bother? Well, because I know that 7.5, now I know the length of that whole side. right? Side, uh, side A, G, the whole thing, is equal to 6 plus 27 plus 7.5 that I found. 6 plus 27 plus that 7.5 that I found. So there's the 7.5 plus 6 plus, and that gives me 40.5. Now, why did I get that number? because it goes up there, right? Remember, now I can say 8 is to 18 plus x as 6 is to 40.5 because I found that piece. There's other ways, but this one will work. So uh, I'm going to do my cross multiplication. I'm going to go uh, 6 times 18 plus x. Now do I have room? I'll do it over here. So 6 times 18 plus x. Is equal to so this one times this one is equal to that one times that one 8 times 40.5 so I'm going to simplify 6 times 18 we know is 108 so that's 108 plus be careful 6x not x is equal to 8 times 40.5 is equal to 324 Then we're going to subtract 108. And that gives me 216. So 6x is equal to 216. And you know what I have to do here? I've got to divide everything by 6. 36 is my x. Now it's a good thing to stop and make sure I've answered the question. They just want to know what x is. 
is 36. They didn't ask me for the length of the whole thing where I would have to add it up. I got that piece, X is 36.